I take my tune and mix that with emotion, let's make it original I've been that bass that they never see Or descending the slaves that were hanging from sick and more stiff With the swift, with the swing as the wind starts to breeze The blood that drip down on the leaves, that's the blossom of strange fruit See the evil What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Hope your Thanksgiving went better than mine. So as you can see behind me, we don't have a Dodge Neon anymore, no. We have a 2016 Jetta Volkswagen because guys, on my way back to school to OU, I actually got into a car accident where basically the guy in front of me slammed on his brakes, so I had some of my brakes and the guy behind me hit me and I hit him. So you know what? We just got into a bad accident. Wrong place at the wrong place time so now we're with a Jetta pretty dope I'm pretty excited to see what this car has featured so let's check it out now obviously one of the best features about this car is the big trunk we have back here so much space uh, that you could use for somebody anything please, you could possibly need help. You could fit your groceries please, back please here give me, get your me, golf clubs for help anything please help you need please, to fit back here will you please you can Next best thing about this car is the brand new tires we got from the dealership. And one thing that I completely learned from this experience is that my dad told me dealerships will do anything in their power to dick you over. So you know what, when you go to a dealership and you get a new car, always bring somebody with you so they know the fine line and they know what's good and what's bad as a deal. Because in any case, in any scenario with a dealership, they're always gonna win regardless of what the transaction is. Hang on there, Slick, now I see your game. We come in here wanting a practical car, but then you dangle this tank in front of me and expect me to walk away. Now, I may be an idiot, but there is one thing I am not, sir, and that, sir, is an idiot. Lastly, the interior of this car is actually pretty freaking sweet. There's a stereo system here that you can hook your phone up to and listen to some holly jolly Christmas music, if you please. You can also adjust the steering wheel to however you like it to be. And on the day that I actually lost my Neon, I was filming a video I never posted, but this is the last clip that you'll ever see me in the Dodge Neon. One of my videographer friends gave me a proposition to film at Ping. So what that means is, my friends, I'm going to be able to finally film things after these three years, these three long years of not really being able to let you experience the Ping Rec Center. We're going to be able to film there finally. So as you heard from that clip, I was supposed to be able to film a video for my rec center down at OU because my buddy is actually working at the rec center and knows the director there. But that all fell through super quick because apparently my video for clients are too cinematic. First of all, I really don't even know what that means. How can you make something cinematic? And he said that it would intimidate people to go to ping. Well, first of all, why are you being so PC in the first place? Because I think you'd be like, yo, that was badass. I want to go there and train there. And I want to get my life together from working out and making some fitness goals happen. But anyway, let's move on to a fitness portion of the video because what kind of Cameron O'Neill video would it be without any fitness things? Welcome back to Cameron Lifts Heavy Weight and talks about it in a voiceover so you don't have to. So if you are following me on Instagram, you all know that I have registered for my meet in Athens in February with the OUPL team. And to do the meet, I wanna just go over my total from the last meet I did in May and just get numbers higher than they were the previous year. So I wanna hit anything over a 400 squat or anything over a 430 deadlift and hopefully anything over a 2 26 bench because my titties are just the weakest thing on the freaking planet but anyway what you're seeing right now are pin squats with an rpe of eight so what rpe is if you are not familiar with that is rate perceived exertion so an eight is about in the middle for powerlifting it goes from six to ten an actual like real world it is from six to twenty and we just rate that on how hard the movement is so for RP8, that would be to about 290 to 295. And you're about to see that it is moving pretty well. I mean, I'm not used to this rack or anything, but I thought the weight went pretty well for what we're doing. Nevertheless, weight is weight, and we're just crushing it every single week going up in this program, just following what we can do. I do a lot of three sets of three, five sets of three, three sets of five. This set is a three sets of two, which is pretty surprising. Never done that before, but it's moving fairly well. Deadlifts, on the other hand, are on the other side of the spectrum. So I'm still trying to figure out what is best for me in regards to stance or which kind of grip I pull with. And with this powerlifting me, I want to do a three part saga. So this will be the biggest series i've worked on this channel it will be the biggest thing i've ever worked on in regards to video production i think it'll be pretty fire and we'll get a lot of people pumped up 
for what is to come. So enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you all so much for listening to me. We are on our way to the game train. Being on the OUPL team at Ohio University, I always see my powerlifting buddies do a different grip with squat, so I tried, tried to do that today. And putting your pinky under the bar instead of over the bar was supposed to prevent like golfer's elbow or tennis elbow or something. Uh, no, I think I gotta practice that just a little bit more before I get no pain like that, because that really created a tingling sensation in my elbow when I tried it. Got me out of sight. Got me out of mind. I lose track of time. When you in my life, Rondo, I be dropping dimes. But I can't drop it. Coming to the end of the semester, I have to write an information system on a business. So I chose Bullfrog Nutrition here in Toledo. Gabby, the owner, is helping me try to write this paper. Pretty simple, only like 900 words. But even going through 15 weeks of this course, I don't even know what an information system is. Gabby sure as hell doesn't know what an information system is. So we're doing our best to get this done. And that's not even the tip of the iceberg for what I have to do for finals. We are in the home stretch, everybody, for this semester, finishing off the last two weeks of what I have going on. So the last thing I want to leave you off with is actually the accident photos of what happened to my car. So I'll put them on the screen right now. And I know I joke a lot about things in my life. I think you always have to find that. I think you always. I think you always have to find humor in things in life. So it could have been a lot worse for me and always wear your seatbelt, always keep yourself protected from anything that could happen because I don't think if I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, it could have been a whole lot worse. I'm glad I'm, that I'm safe. I'm thankful that I'm still here. And the only damage I did physically to myself was I had a bruise on the bottom of my foot right under my big toe from pressing so hard on the brake. So I hope you guys take that into consideration. Always wear your seatbelt, always keep yourself safe on the roads, worry about other people around you and make sure that you are in the clear so if you guys like the video smash it up with a like button subscribe holler at your boy down in the comments below and of course i will see you all in the next banger